Today we are going to be using the Cypress dashboard. As you can see in the next step here, I have executed at least uh, eight uh, different test cases from two different spec files. And as you can see, if I click on one of them, I can take a look where it was executed. For example, in this case, it was Chrome in Windows. And if I also want to take a look of the evidence in the artifacts part, I can take a look of the video. Uh, about what happened in that execution also for example i can take a look of the test code history and it is going to be integrated in this case with bit with bitbucket to check where it or which is the uh, branch and what, what what was the last commit in this branch and what i'm actually testing right so thank you very much for watching the whole video if you want to learn how to integrate this it's pretty simple but i want to guide you step by step okay perfect Okay, if you are actually following my my series of videos over here with uh, where I am trying to explain you how to use Cypress, uh, as as you remember probably, I'm I have uh, tested this application at least the the signing of this application over here, right? Uh, the idea was to test different scenarios. For example, if I enter the correct username and password, it is gonna log in, right, uh, as expected. But if I enter a locked out user or an incorrect user and an incorrect password. We're, we're, we're gonna have different scenarios to test right so in this uh, test case right in this test script i have used the page object model in order to test for example a successful login uh, a, lock, a locked out uh, login right in case or, or also another scenario where i can test if uh, if what happened if i enter an incorrect username or an incorrect password right and i have applied also the trick to handle the test data in a json file so i have reduced all this code in a single spec over here right using a well a fixture basically an array of objects with all the data and i'm iterating over them in order to get this working as expected right to test the different uh, scenarios of the login page basically if you remember in, if i come to the test runner i have uh, well basically uh, both scenarios working as expected as you can see here i am actually testing the login scenario the display locked out message the incorrect scenario and their incorrect password message and if I execute also the another one with uh, implementing the fixture uh, strategy, right? You are going to take a look and probably we're going to have the same results, right? Perfect. As you can see, it is working as expected. Now, the thing that I want to do is execute this. Uh, well, I can do it uh, in headless mode or actually with you with the UI. It doesn't matter. And the, the thing that I want to do is send these results to the dashboard in Cypress or the Cypress dashboard, actually, right? So the thing that I ha we have to do if we want to take a look uh, and, and do that, please follow my steps. But first, I'm going to try to give you a bit of context about what is Cypress dashboard. Basically, as you can see here, uh, the Cypress dashboard is, um, as the definition itself uh, is, is a SaaS web app, right? That pairs with open source test runner which is this one over here right but uh, it is going to make easy to escalate your test runs and debug failed tests basically a uh, transform how you test in ci and push your code with confidence every time it means that uh, if we send the results to this dashboard basically we're gonna have more details about what is happening we can record tests in the cloud we can integrate this dashboard with different ci uh, tools in the market right for example jenkins travis docker and uh, we're gonna take a look of this in a future and also uh, we can optimize tests since we can take a look of what is happening in different ci machines right in different different workers or slaves so um it also allows you to automatically load the balancing and parallelis parallelization of your uh, executions and you're gonna have all the results in one single place and as you can see it is gonna maximize efficiency with the parallelization this is something that we can take a look in the future right but right now the thing that i want to do is pretty simple send the results that you can see here to the dashboard um this dashboard is not free or actually it is free but it has a limited uh, um, test execution um kind of uh, limit actually right in this case as you can see um, 
per month you're gonna have allowed uh, this number of executions right the test results included of 500 over here uh, you can uh, use three different users and you are allowed to well use the parallelization the load balancing feature um, we can take a look of the test code history uh, screenshots video playback and a lot, of, a lot of features that we can integrate over here, for example, GitHub, Slack, GitLab, Bitbucket, and so on. And uh, well, the, the thing that I'm going to use here is a free plan, and I'm going to try to explain you how to get this configured, right? Well, you just have to come here to the Cypress dashboard that uh, and click on this button that it's saying get started free okay as you as soon as you click on that you're gonna be uh, requested to sign in uh, with uh, with an email right actually you can sign in with different um well with different um, accounts you can use actually the github account or another um, provider all right in this case as soon as you are logged in your in your account you just have to click on create new project over here right and you are gonna request you're gonna be requested to enter the project name over here so i'm gonna call this your media test okay i don't want to specify the ci provider because in this case i'm not gonna use uh, anyone all right but in a future i will so please uh, just skip in this in this case uh, this uh, well this drop down options over here just have to enter the project name as soon as you have this you just have to click on next step and then it is gonna provide you with two different parameters right the first one is gonna be the project id that you have to enter in your um, well in your cypress.json file okay so i'm gonna come to my project and in the cypress.json file i'm gonna come here and paste the, this new project ID over here. As soon as I have done this, well, the next step that I have to do is basically just add this uh, record uh, parameter and the key in order to get the test results recorded in this beautiful tool, okay? So um, let's take a look and review once again how we can execute, for example, uh, our test in helix mode basically we just have to use the cypress uh, uh, the cypress command run uh, run and then specify the uh, the parameter headless as soon as you have done this the, the next step that you have to do is specify the browser right in this case i want to execute it in chrome and then you have to specify the specs that you want to execute in this case i want to execute my page object model folder and the test cases that i have inside which are basically this one over here that i have explained you at the beginning of this video okay so as soon as i have this uh, ready basically we have to uh, also send the record parameter and also the key that they have provided that that they have provided in that configuration website over here i'm just gonna copy this okay and then i'm gonna paste it on my project over here okay and as soon as i have my command ready actually i have set all the parameters that i that i wanted to set right so i'm gonna copy this script and then i just have to use the terminal over here i'm gonna cancel the the test runner and i'm gonna execute the command npm run right and then the script name that I have over here, which is Cypress Run Chrome Headless. But in this case, when I execute this, it is gonna be listening, uh, or actually the, the Cypress dashboard is gonna be listening to this record key, and it is gonna be saving all the, um, the changes. Something is wrong. <laughs> so let me see what is happening. I'm gonna execute this again. I think that I didn't save the package.json and it had a different key, but let me see. And as you can see, it is actually executing our tests in headless mode. It means that it is not working with the UI. It is, well, uh, opening the inst instance of Chrome in headless mode. That's basically why you are not watching the test runner opening and stuff, right? And as you can see, it is saying that the, uh, the, the execution is uploading results. And then we, are, uh, we have the both scenarios, the both specs executed and at the end as you can see here it is saying that the recorded uh, run 
is at this URL over here. So if I click on this, it is gonna, uh, well, send me to the, to the first run, right? And as you can see, well, I have a, a, a welcome message here, which is saying all tests pa passed, right? And as you can see, I have a, here a summary of what is happening. If something, if something is passed, if something is failed, pending, skip, total, and in case um, any test was failing, right? It is gonna, it could be displayed over here. But if we wanna introduce and take a look more in depth, we can come here to the test results and take a look of every single test or it that we have declared, right? And uh, well, as you can see, for example, uh, it is actually saying that it executed two different specs, the home sauce.spec.js and also the same stuff, but with the fixture technique, right? And if I enter to one it, for example, the logging to inventory page, you can take a look uh, about the previous runs. In this case, there is no previous run, right? <laughs> this is the first one and it, it, it passed correctly. Um, for example, if I wanna take a look of another uh, detail, for example, the run time environment, it is saying that I executed this in Chrome 91 and it was executed in Windows 10, right? Uh, for example, if I take a look of the artifacts, it is gonna give me the video of the execution, even though it was executed in helpless mode. That's amazing, right? And um, if you take a look of this category over here, it is giving me the test code history. As you can see here, you can take a look of the branch that you are executing, in this case is master. And uh, um, well, it is taking the last commit over here in order to uh, execute my, my uh, project. So uh, yeah, let's take a look of what happened if I uh, fail uh, an exp uh, a test case, right? With an expected behavior, right? For example, I know that if I log in correctly in the application, it is gonna be looking for products, but if I enter test, it is gonna fail, right? So I wanna take a look of what happened if I execute this again. <laughs> so we're gonna execute again, the same uh, suite of tests and also in headless mode, right? So let's take a look at what happened. Right now it is uh, executing the first uh, spec. The first script is gonna fail, right? And uh, it is gonna probably take a video of that. It is gonna take an evidence. And as you can see here, this test case is, is failing, right? So let's take a look of how it looks in, uh, in the Cypress dashboard, okay? Let's take a look. Um, perfect, it's executing the second uh, spec. It is, it is gonna be pretty fast since there is no error. And at the end, is it is gonna provide us with another recorder run link over here, right? And as you can see, the welcome uh, homepage is saying that we have a failed test and it is located at this particular execution. As you can see, it is gonna give us the, the assertion error over here. Um, uh, at, at, uh, yeah, the same stuff, right? The, the runtime environment, what happened in previous runs, uh, probably in the in the past one, it, it works fine, right? As you can see in the first one, it works correctly. You can take a look of the artifacts. It, it actually takes a screenshot of what is failing as, over here, right? And uh, well, it actually provides us with the logs, as you can see here, that's amazing. And a snapshot of the logs. Um, the performance, what is happening in the in the hooks in the test body, and the test definition, which is actually the the whole code of what is happening in this particular it. So that's amazing, right? I guess that this Cypress dashboard it's a, it's an amazing tool. If if your project has the the opportunity to pay for it for one of these plans, I guess that it is amazing. But um, yeah, I just wanted to bring you this solution. If you wanted to start working uh, with and play with this feature, please go ahead and do it. You are gonna have free account where you can execute 500 um, test cases, right? Uh, for free per month. So thank you very much for watching the video. I guess that this was all that I have. Thank you very much. Please let a like, please let us or actually subscribe to this beautiful channel and see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.